my taste has changed throughout the years. When I yeah. first saw uh, a Model 3 Tesla, I thought it was the <laughs> most hideous car I've ever, yeah. without the grill, I was like, this is so stupid. It took me all but two months to think that it was one of the coolest looking cars. Same with Cybertruck. I Cybertruck. mourned Cybertruck. When I first saw that thing, I was at that that thing with, yeah. and I went with, a, we used to do a podcast called Our Ludicrous Future. So we talked a lot about like, you know, cars and EVs and stuff. We went to that unveiling and literally like we had like almost a, a non-alcohol induced hangover the next morning of like mourning the hideousness of Cybertruck. Come six months later, a year later, and I'm like, damn it, that thing's actually kind of cool. Yeah. That also teaches you something about, uh, again, it's, it's the thing you said uh, earlier, sort of uh, going against the the current of the experts or the beliefs or whatever is, is and, and making a decision from first principles. Some of that also applies to design and styling and fashion oh, and culture and all big that. Big time. Uh, some of that, you know, so in fashion especially, it's so interesting. So subjective. Be, being rebellious against the current the the current fads actually is the way to pave the new fads. When it didn't take long for others to follow. You look at like currently like what Hyundai's doing with their I forget which one, like the Ionic or something like that. It's it's square. It's like it's boxy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's a throwback. It's 80s. It's got these beautiful retro taillights. It's got these square headlights. It's 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 very inspired by Cybertruck, in my opinion. I mean, it might not be. It might be coincidental that we're all kind of getting this well, retro personally, future vibe. But uh, I personally like the boxy. So I never, I, I still haven't understood uh, Porsches. Porsches. <laughs> I still can't quite understand the small size, the elegant, the, the curves. I don't very quite. I, I don't quite get See, it. Like I said, I don't love the look of the RX-7. I don't love it, but I love it because of the engineering. I guess that it represents. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh, it's not the surface stuff. It's the deep down stuff. <laughs> it's that 50-50 weight distribution that matters. <laughs>